if you look at real problems, they are very, very complicated. But as mathematicians or computer scientists, what you try to do is to actually try and boil it down to a simpler problem that we actually can solve or say something intelligent about. My name is Eric Powells and I'm the group leader of the Intelligent and Autonomous Systems Research Group. In our group we are looking mostly at multi-agent systems. So these are complex networks in which agents interact based on information exchange. And we are trying to optimize these, these processes. Think of autonomous vehicles that interact on a highway. If we don't understand how they operate, there might be errors that we haven't foreseen and that could actually endanger lives. Or think of energy markets where you have independent prosumers that actually produce and consume energy but can also exchange, store energy. They exchange information about how much they have available and then they can take optimal solutions. All of these problems have the same sort of flavor. And what we are interested in is to look at this mathematically, what that means in terms of computer science, in terms of mathematical algorithms, to organize this behavior, to extract information from data in order to make a system that is secure and, and reliable. Now we especially look into the market mechanisms on the one hand, so how do you design the market rules, who gets what for what price, so that's one part. Second part is the agent design, so all those agents are software modules, how to make the automatic software agents and therefore the entire system to work as a whole. We have a partner, Schroonschip. Schroonschip is a community in Amsterdam Noord that is uh, going to be built as a floating housing community that got together to become very sustainable. An example could be taken from two households where one household generates solar energy and the other household has some flexibility, for example a battery installed in its basement. Now the household with excess solar energy during daytime might want to store that energy in the battery of its neighbor. However, there needs to be an agreement how the benefits are being shared between the two households. Now humans don't want to interfere with that decision on a day-to-day -day basis. They want to be represented by autonomous algorithms that resolve the conflict of interest to the joint best outcome. External partners inspire us with the problems they have. They are facing very new problems because of the complex structure of our society. And they come to us and we then identify underlying mathematical problems which often are new. In the group they are interested in the mathematics but they also want to look at something which is really relevant to society and has some real impact.